Zelensky reveals how U.S. reacted to Ukraine's attacks on Russian oil refineries. President Volodymyr Zelensky has stated that the U.S. does not approve of Ukraine's drone strikes on oil refineries in Russia, but since Ukraine uses its own drones, no one can forbid it to strike Russian oil refineries. I said this in an interview with the Washington Post. Columnist David Ignatius Zelensky was asked about the US reaction to Ukrainian drone strikes on Russian oil refineries. The reaction of the US was not positive on this. We used our drones. Nobody can say to us, you can't. If there is no air defense to protect our energy system and Russians attack it, my question is, why can't we answer them? Their society has to learn to live without petrol, without diesel, without electricity. It's fair. Zelensky said. The article noted that Washington cannot limit Ukraine's deployment of its own weapons or deter similar attacks on energy facilities in Russia. The Washington Post noted that Zelensky feels he has no choice but to launch an attack on the Russian energy system in response in the hope of creating a system of deterrence. According to Zelensky, Ukraine could stop Russian attacks on the Ukrainian energy system by forcing Russia to pay the same price and when Russia stops these steps, we will stop. He also stated that Ukraine lacks air defense systems. That's true. I don't want Russia to know what number of air defense missiles we have. But basically, you're right. Without the support of Congress, we will have a big deficit of missiles. This is the problem. We are increasing our own air defense systems, but it is not enough. Commenting on the situation in the combat zone, Zelensky talked about the shortage of ammunition, saying that if you need 8,000 rounds a day to defend the front line, Ukraine only has 2,000 rounds. So the only solution is to make the front line shorter. If it breaks, the Russians could go to the big cities. He added that Ukraine is trying to find some way not to retreat. For instance, after the Russians captured Avdiivka in Ukraine's east in February, Ukraine managed to stabilize the situation because of smart steps by our military. Zelensky believes that if the front line remains stable, Ukraine will be able to arm and train new brigades in the rear in order to conduct a new counter-offensive later. Since if Ukraine does not go on the offensive, then Russia will. If you are not taking steps forward, to prepare another counter-offensive, Russia will take them. That's what we learned in this war. If you don't do it, Russia will do it, Zelensky said. Russian Orthodox Church calls invasion of Ukraine holy war. The World Russian People's Council, led by Patriarch Kirill of Moscow, has adopted an order that refers to the Russian invasion of Ukraine as a holy war and states that the entire territory of present-day Ukraine should be included in the area of Russia's exclusive influence. The Ukrainian Orthodox Church, which has historically been linked to the Moscow Patriarchate, has dissociated itself from such statements. Radio Liberty journalists reported that the Patriarchate's document is not formally related to the Russian Orthodox Church, but many Russian church Hierarchs and public figures associated with the church are participating in the council. The document was approved during a councillor congress held on March the 27th in Moscow and chaired by Patriarch Kirill. In it, the war in Ukraine is described as a new stage in the national liberation struggle of the Russian people against the criminal Kyiv regime and the collective West behind it, which is being waged in the lands of southwestern Russia. And from a spiritual and moral point of view, it is a holy war in which Russia and its people, defending the single spiritual space of holy Russia, fulfill the mission of the restrainer who protects the world against the onslaught of globalism and the victory of the West, which has fallen into Satanism. The document also explains the concept of the Russian describing its boundaries as wider than the state borders of both the current Russian Federation and the great historical Russia. The document also refers to the tri-unity of the Russian people and claims that Belarusians and Ukrainians should be recognized only as sub-ethnic groups of the Russians. The Ukrainian Orthodox Church reacted to the Russian statement by distancing itself from the ideology of the Russian world. The Ukrainian Orthodox Church does not support and dissociates itself from the ideology of the Russian world. Moreover, our church's attitude to this idea has long been publicly expressed by his beatitude Metropolitan Onufri of Kiev and all Ukraine. We are not building any Russian world, we are building God's world, Ukrainian Orthodox Church said.